Hello! Welcome to the Daily Dish Tarot, where we get food for thought for the day and for the week. Um, I did a reading yesterday that started us off with the moon phase, and this is to come every day I'm going to be doing these uh, until Thursday, and then Friday's going to be weekend energy, just to give us some um, thoughts for the day and throughout the week, that we can use throughout the week. Welcome or welcome back to anyone um, out there. You're yeah, welcome to anyone who's new to the channel. I'm Kelly um, from Deep Soul Tarot, of course. Uh, this is a collective read. It's a general read. So just take, it may not resonate for all of you, so just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, these are timeless. So even though I'm doing it for this week, these messages are are uh, timeless. So you, no matter when you want, come across it and watch it, it could very well be a message for you in there somewhere. Okay, so uh, I, don't, I don't know who saw uh, the video yesterday, but we're doing energies right now for the first quarter moon or some bug flying in front of my face. Um, and this is just moving on through the week. So I consider Tuesday, Tuesday tempos, which is just some energy and actions that we can take because the first quarter moon is all about taking actions right now. So let's see what spirit has for us, the collective, and how we can further our journey for this first quarter week or from whenever we're watching this so just some kind of um, I guess you'd say advice just some energies as far as action we can take all right let's see if there's anything else anything else spirit before I get to the bottom of the deck we'll take that jump okay bottom of the deck <clears throat> well Making a decision, and I'll tell you what's on underneath that. Making a decision right now. Hold on just a second. I'm going to put those over there. We're going to work with these first and then this one. You have the moon underneath that. Ooh, the king of swords. Here we go again. Oh, Lord, there's that tower. That tower came made an appearance how many times yesterday so did the seven of cups okay so i'm gonna stop there so it doesn't end up being a really long video um lord i can go on and on with these videos um and if you guys want me to get the nitty gritty tell me down below and i'll keep going so you can get more information but um i love doing that digging for that you know feeling the energies and keep going it, um it's like reading a book you know the more i get, start a book and i get into it then i keep want to keep going four of pentacles here you're holding on to something you're holding on to something potentially that could be affecting the happiness in your life and it may involve other people it may involve friends something that you're not sure about there's either fear or worry involved here there's something you're not completely clear about and you know with this first quarter moon only half the moon is lit so you're in a phase right now for some of you in the collective that we are in a phase, some of us, of um, only seeing half of the story, only seeing part of the picture. And so um, this is going to be a week of maybe digging for some information and finding out the truth. You want the truth about a situation. Now, this Tower card, again, there's the Four of Pentacles, which it can mean holding on to morals and values maybe somebody's jeopardizing that now you got the king of wands and the world this is an end of a cycle coming okay we're going towards the new moon and the king of wands um there's a lot of passion in the king of wands masculine energy and masculine energy with the king of swords this passion within you there's something that right here in anger with the, this king of wands there's some sort of anger that you're feeling towards something someone or something and you want something to be done about it and if someone doesn't do something about it you will that's what i heard and this is the week to do it because this is the week to make decisions um so something needs to be released or let go of i feel and there are options but the options are up in the air so the, okay we'll get to the their actual reading here but so getting down to the three of cups I'm hearing that this may be whatever decision you make, whatever you release or let go of, let's put this over here so you can kind of see it, um, I think, um, is going to make you want to celebrate. This may be something you've been waiting for. The chariot card is willing yourself forward. 
you're going to will yourself forward even if it means you are um, left out in the cold by friends, family, people you work with. It's something that you believe strongly in. You want the truth to come out. And we'll see what these are underlying the issues. This may give us more information on what this, for some of us, the issue may be. Regardless of the consequences, there may be some sort of loss here. Or you think, well, if I speak my mind, I may, I may lose something in my life. Potentially. Doesn't mean it's going to happen. It's saying, but you're still going to will yourself forward. This is a week of will yourself forward, okay? So, we have Page of Pentacles, which came yesterday. <gasps> no way! Page of Cups and the Nine of Cups. These all came yesterday. And when I do, when I take the readings apart after, re, you know, doing the cards, I take a card, put it in the deck, put some other cards on top. Take a card, put it in the deck. But I separate them all. So these three, and this came, I think, too. I'm not positive about the chariot. But these three, for sure. Okay, so this is for Pete Energy. And for anybody who hasn't seen, I'll put a, I'm going to put a, um, where are we right now? 615. Right now, I will put a card in here if you want to watch that. And I'll also put, if you want, if you watch the whole video, which is recommended, so you don't miss any messages, um, I'll put a uh, card at the end also, the little thing you can click on, um, in case you didn't see it. But I would watch it because these were in there. So basically what I, in the last yesterday's was, um, having a goal in mind, possibly being naive about something. It was about making a decision about something false in your life and finding your happiness by doing so. These the two pages here are facing each other and they were in different positions yesterday. This page was up here. Um, the the reading on Mondays are different than this, this format. So the page was up there and the page of cups was down here. The page was up there with the deception. So it's like, it's as if you have a, a goal in mind. And this could be work with the pentacle or school. Um, but it doesn't have to be. But it's something, some goal you have in mind or something that you have envisioned for your life. And um, staying dedicated to that. And the page of cups to me, especially in yesterday's reading, is having that conversation with yourself about what it is you truly want that's going to make you ultimately happy. This is like the end result of whatever this is. And I'm going to have to clarify. I didn't have to clarify yesterday, but I'm going to have to clarify some of these. So let's get some more information. Okay. Now let me let me shuffle it. Won't I, I, again, I always shuffle these cards. I shuffle them after I finish readings. I shuffle them again before readings. They get well shuffled, believe me. And if you watch yesterday's um, reading, you will see, because I did it in that reading. I shuffled the cards a number of times throughout the reading. You will see that I put the cards in. And some of them came back out. I put them again. To just ugh, It was this crazy. There's some messages that are important here. So we have... So you're moving forward. You have to choose a path here. It's like you have to choose a side. Do you want to... Oh, Lord, how do I put this? Um, I call this one energy side. This is how I see it. It's sheeple. Do you want to follow the crowd and do what everyone expects you to do or whatever is, what everyone is expected to do? Or do you want to choose the path that is really ultimately best for your, your authentic self, your higher good, your higher self? And you have to make this, see, this is a week of the quarter moon week. The quarter moon is about making decisions now. This is the time to make the decision. Because if not, is that tower under here? Was that tower under here? Uh, yeah, this will happen for you. You may be going about your life and hanging out with your friends, not realizing that there's some truth that's coming out and this tower is going to happen if, if you don't take care of it. If you don't take care of it, your life. It affects your life somehow. But it, it, again, I was going back to the two of ones. If this person on the tightrope, then it's a tough situation. It's a tough decision. There's a lot in the line here I'm hearing for you, for a lot of you in the collective. But you have to make a decision because you're going to fall off that tightrope and you're going to end up down there and then you're going to be, be, be in a position where you're not going to be able to do anything about it because you're going to be injured in a bad way. Oh my, there's the two of cups again. 
and it could be a love situation. There's the Nine of Cups, which is over here. Now the two, it could be a love situation. I don't feel that energy, but for some of you, it could be a love inf in, uh, blah, 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 situation. But I see the Two of Cups for the most part as a balance between your masculine and feminine side. Your mind may tell you one thing, but your heart is truly telling you something else. What you really want to do is in your heart. Your mind is saying, yeah, but if I do this, A, B, and C might happen. I may lose the person in my life, in my relationship. I may lose my job. I may lose the respect of some co-workers. I may offend someone. And again, this is all for just guidance. This is all to, it's like a compass. You get some certain direction here. It's up to you what you want to do with it. And there's what is going to, and there's the Nine of Pentacles. And uh, there's the Six of Pentacles underneath that. Okay, uh, with the Nine of Pentacles here, I, I mean the Nine of Cups, you have the Nine of Cups here. It's, you're ultimately, at this point, Collective, this week is about your true happiness. How do you see yourself down the line? Is this situation that you're in going to keep you happy? Is it really going to, honestly, is it really going to bring you the happiness that you want? Because I don't, I don't feel that. You may be better off on your own. Again, pentacles could be work. Maybe, maybe you have a job and you want to work for yourself. But this is just about stability, so it doesn't have to be about work. It's about stability. And it's funny because you have the six of pentacles underneath that. So you've been giving to a situation. Again, this is about balance. No, I just heard something else. You need to give yourself to a different situation that will appreciate you. Whether it's a relationship, whether it's work. This little person here is poor, only has a few coins, has gotten a few coins, but is giving yourself to maybe a smaller company maybe a startup company you know giving yourself if it's not work something that's going to end up ultimately giving you what you want again i could go on and on about this it's going to be half an hour video i said well, these are only going to be 15 minutes oh hell well okay <laughs> five of pentacles if you can't watch the whole video i suggest you do but i do suggest saving it and watching the other half some other time if you're watching this in the morning you got to go to work save it Watch the other half. I do that all the time, and many times that second half, man, there are messages in for me, not all the time, but a good number of times, and I'm like, holy crap, if I haven't watched it, we're gonna take this one because it's sliding out. There's six, see what I mean? That was in the middle of the deck, and I picked it up. I did not see it. I pulled it out because it was hanging out. Yeah, you're gonna be, you may just end up being out in the cold. These people may ostracize you because you're speaking your mind. You're speaking your truth. And um, it's, you know what? I know the direction I want. So this is kind of like your authentic self. I'm your authentic self, but the truth. Your true self. You may not see it coming. You may be in the dark about this particular thing coming. Whatever's happening about you being in the cold. But again, this is just a perception. You're thinking, you know what? F it. I'm just going to go ahead and do what I'm going to do. Because... I'm not going to be a sheeple. I'm not going to let people dictate to me how I, what I think and how I should act. You know, and you can be diplomatic about it. You don't have to be. I mean, I don't know about yesterday. I had the Queen of Swords in there, so I don't know how diplomatic it actually is. But the the five to the six is the Ace of Pentacles. This is an opportunity here for you. The universe is actually offering you an opportunity, and here you are starting with that new coin, going. This is the direction. This is what I want to do. This is exactly what I want to do. And you're giving yourself to someone or something that appreciates you more. That's what I'm hearing here. Seven of Swords. See, there's that dis. This came in yesterday's reading too. There's that deception. What's underneath it? Three of Wands. It's like you're waiting. You know what? Bye bye. I'm waiting for a new opportunity. I am putting my energy and my my true self into something else that's going to appreciate me and it's going to let me be honest and speak my mind. 
I don't want to work somewhere or be with someone who is not going to let me be honest about how I feel and what I'm thinking and and making a problem, making that be a problem. All right, Page of Pentacles. <laughs> Page of Pentacles. Seriously? This is either a relationship, someone you love, or this is, no, I'm still hearing. I'm still hearing. I'm still hearing a job. This is your dream job. This is something you've always wanted to do. Oh, you know what I just heard? I just heard, for some of you, not all of you now, for, for whoever this resonates for, just take it if it resonates. You know, bear with me here. For those who it doesn't, and we'll get to other stuff here. For those this does resonate to, you've had it with this job. If it's a job, you've been at this job, and you've worked at this job, and it pays the bills, but you're like, you know what? I am, I just, I, I, somebody had a reading, one of the zodiac signs that I did. It might have been Taurus. I'm not sure. I think it was one of the earth signs. So if you're an earth sign, you may want to go back and watch the Taurus. Uh, I don't know about the Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, I mean, they're all uploaded. I can't remember. Um, I don't remember actually. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, but it's like this is something that you always wanted to do. This is like you're a person that likes to keep busy, and you you like to work. So it's not not that your job itself is bad, but you have this goal in mind of a job, this dream job you've had, something you've always wanted to do, or some sort of lifestyle you've always wanted to have. And the Two of Cups, it's like, I'm finally going to make a decision that's going to make my heart happy as well. That's what I'm hearing here. And it's just funny that <laughs> the Five of Cups and the Devil. Now I'm hearing that for some of you, you regret that you hadn't done this a long time ago. Because it's been it's been emotionally draining you, and now it's it's all coming to the surface. You're now realizing all this time you may have wasted with this person at this job in this situation. But the five of cups is it as I call is the pity party. Well, go ahead and, and deal with your disappointment here. But let me just tell you, the five to the two of cups in this car. There's three spilled cups, but there's still one good cup here and one good cup there. All is not lost. It may seem that way. Oh, see that? The devil in the world. This was a toxic relationship, a toxic environment, a toxic situation. And it was giving you toxic thoughts about yourself. You were thinking, oh my God, now you got the Queen of Wands under this. Oh, and the Queen of Pentacles. I just can't. Okay, let's just, let's just lay these out, shall we? Oh, my effing God. Looky here. Okay, and I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. And there's the Queen of Swords. We'll stop at the Queen of Swords here, all right? Because I got three queens here. We need three queens. Let me take a deep breath here because we got a lot going on here, Collective. So stick around. If you can't watch this, this, this might be a long one. It may be past a half an hour. If you cannot watch all of this, please, please, if you're still here, 18 minutes in please and I try to say it in the beginning but I don't want to bore everybody please save these because this comes out and then it's like holy fuck all right the devil toxic so the toxicity that's happening to you or around you is wearing on you it's making you think toxic thoughts about yourself and maybe your life and your situation but this is the end of a cycle use this week to your advantage claim this week as the time to make a decision to change your life in the most positive way. Whatever you need to do. This is like saying here, I'm giving back my badge. I'm giving back my, I don't know, my my position. Here's my position. You can have it. But you're giving it to someone who's, I'm going to give my time and energy to someone who's going to appreciate me. Whether it's a relationship, whatever. All right, no, enough of that. Queen of Wands, step back into your power. Something has sucked the power out of you. All right, feminine energy. Take that passion within you. Take those feelings of, yes, this is exactly what I wanted. Isn't that funny? And they, I, I'm doing it right in front of the Page of Cups. Something you've always dreamed of doing. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is a, an energy of patience, loyalty, 
dedication, resilience. There's a lot going on here. And this Queen of Cups, again, feminine energy, is not going to let others dictate to her, feminine energy, whether you're male or female, no gender in Tarot, um, what she can and can't do in her life because she knows. She knows she has the ability. If I just stay focused on what it is that I truly want is best for my, I know in the long run this is going to be what's best for me. And I am not going to live a lie. I'm going to live the, the life that I've always wanted. And I'm going to be patient. I'm going to take my time. I am going to never, I'm not going to give up on it. Because this is what I want. I don't care what obstacles I have to. And the magician, the universe, <clears throat> working through this lesson, is now going to see that you've done the work. And you now have all the tools that you need to proceed and move forward. So you're manifest. You can manifest this. The Ace of Wands is under here. Some sort of inspiration, some sort of creativity. It's all going to bubble forth once you cut out whatever it is that is not in your best interest. All right? Queen of Swords, by the way, has no emotion. She is the Ice Queen. So it's, it's, it's going to be a matter-of-fact decision. It's going to have to be like just ripping that Band-Aid off and walking away. Whatever it is. This week. For many of you. I don't know about all of you, but for many of you. All right. Now we're going to get to the Hangman. And we're moving on. We're almost done here. The Hangman. It's now you're seeing things from a different perspective. You're seeing things in a totally different way going, you know, I don't think I would have ever done this before, but all of a sudden, it's time. It's time for me to make this move. And the judgment card is the aha moment. Now you've been reborn. You've been in this dark chamber of doom, so to speak. Maybe not horrible doom, but you go through the motions and you get through your work or in this relationship and you knew something wasn't quite right, but you still stayed in that little box, that little dark box of, all right, this is my life, this is what it is. And again, a lot of us have gone through that. I'm still dealing with that, so just going to say, I may go back and watch some of these myself um, just so I can get my life in, in order too, you know? I, I'm included. I'm not above any of this. It's a, You're going to get an aha moment and you're going to feel reborn. And this is right before the world. The end of a cycle. This is beautiful. This is beautiful energy. And then, is that right? No. And then the energy you're going to feel from all that, you're going to be so amazed at that. All right. And that was just for the Two of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. All right. Page of Cups. Page of Cups. If you aren't part of the tribe and you don't want to miss any of this content, if you subscribe, you'll be notified of when I upload. Okay? And you can pick and choose what you want to watch. Or you can save it for later and watch it later. There's that judgment card again. The universe wants you to know. There's going to be... I don't know how old you are. doesn't matter. Whether you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, or beyond. This is going to make you not only feel like you've been much younger than you have felt in a very long time. And let me tell you, even when you're in your 20s and 30s, and believe me, in your 20s you don't know, but you feel like it. In your 30s too, uh, depending on what's going on in your life, and some of you are parents and have other things going on, so, you know, there's a lot of things that go on in people's lives that can, can really tire them out. You don't realize until you start getting older but how bad it is, but as you get older, you start to lose that energy. Uh, thank God for coffee, that's all I can say. Um, <laughs> but, um, it's, it's going back to even in, like, say you're in college or you're, you're in your 20s and you're thinking, Matt, I just remember when I was in high school and I didn't have to worry about all this crap, all these bills and I could go, I went to school, okay, kind of sucked it, or maybe you liked it, but I had weekends and maybe you worked a part-time job. It wasn't so bad then, but that's what this is going to make you feel like. Go back to a time when you, your youth, whenever that may be, it could it be your 30s too, you're still young in your 30s. When you're still young, it's, age is a state of mind, but um, go back to that time and, and have a conversation with yourself and say, this could even be your inner child. Fulfill one of those dreams you, were never, you never got to fulfill. Maybe life didn't go in the direction you thought. Now it's time. Maybe you wanted to be like a freelance photographer. Maybe you wanted to be, I don't know, a videographer. Maybe you wanted to be on YouTube. You want to do a YouTube channel. And let me tell you. If any of you were thinking about doing a YouTube channel, and I know there are a lot of people out there that say, well, I thought about it, but no buts. Just do it. I did. I never, I didn't know a thing. I didn't have the equipment. I did it from my phone. 
I did. I watch a lot of YouTube videos. Daryl Eves is a good one, and Nick Nimmin. If you're trying to start a YouTube channel, I'm just going to throw that out there. They are excellent. There are some other ones out there too, um, but uh, VidIQ I think is one, and and uh, and that kind of thing. So um, just a few off the top of my head, but go watch them. If if, you're, if you want to start a YouTube channel, go for it. Just do it. Just do it. It's a slow process. You're not going to get probably not going to get instant success, success, but you never know, right? Uh, I know some people come from TikTok, uh, and I'm thinking about going on TikTok. I've never been on TikTok, but I'm thinking about it, you know, just to kind of expand my horizons. But anyways, not until I have better internet. <clears throat> anyways, page cups, go ahead and do it, because you're going to feel a whole sense of rebirth. This is like a spiritual awakening. It's like the, the heavens opened up and went, oh, that whatever you do is going to be this is the life I've envisioned. You're going to call your friends and say, hey, so-and-so, let's go out and have a drink. I have just realized my life goal, and I want to celebrate with other people. There's that damn seven of swords again. And stand your ground. Don't let any naysayers, don't let any of these fake people into your circle. You stick to your tribe, those people that you know you can trust and are going to support you every step of the mother effing way. Okay? Nine of Cups. We can do this collective. We can do this. I mean, um, I didn't tell a whole lot of people about the YouTube channel because, to be honest, I was like, I don't know how this is going to go, and I'm going to be embarrassed if I'm not successful. And I'm not like a huge channel, so it's been. It's, I had to stop for a couple of years due to life circumstances, so that sucked because I was doing really well. It was during COVID, so I was lucky. But um, anyways, I still suggest to do it. Uh, I didn't tell people because I was just kind of like, I don't know, you know if people are going to be in tune with this. You have the Three of Cups, but it came in reverse. The Nine to the Three is the Six of Cups. I'm hearing specifically. It's interesting because the Six of Cups is about nostalgia and the past. It's also about, you know, divine, the divine. And you don't have this, you don't have the Six, the Lover's card, this number six. I mean, the Six of Cups, I'm sorry, I don't even know why I'm thinking of that. Are you dealing with the Gemini? <laughs> the Six of Cups isn't here, but it's the Nine to the Three of Cups is the Six of Cups. Six of Cups. I need more coffee. Um, I'm hearing that your youth, something from your past is significant here. Your childhood, your inner child, something, as I said here, follow your dream and it could be something that you said in high school when I grow up I'm going to be you know I'm going to be on YouTube I'm going to be on American Idol I'm going to be on, let me tell you I know someone that was on American Idol excellent singer she's from my area I'm not going to say where so people know where I'm at but it's a local a local singer and she's really good and I didn't even know she was going to be on there I happened to, to uh, watch or did I see I might have seen before like on Facebook because we're friends on Facebook and um, I was like holy crap I was so thrilled that she went for it, that she didn't, I don't know where she auditioned. I'm in California, so chances are it was either probably, I'm thinking maybe L.A. I don't know if they come to San Francisco, but she may have gone to L.A., whatever it was, but she made it. She didn't make it all the way. She made it up to the final cut for like the last 12 or 10, whatever they do at the end, which I think was wrong because she was good. There was another girl that could have been cut, but we won't go into that. But I'm just saying, you never know unless you try something. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You know, you try something else. But the Six of Cups, there's some sort of nostalgia, some sort of something from your past. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. And that is what's going to make you happy. Knight of Swords. You've got that idea in your head, and maybe you've never made a move to try to see if it would work. Yeah, there are no guarantees in life. As I say with the Wheel of Fortune card, if you don't spin, you're never going to win. At least if you t attempt to spin, there's a chance at some point you may be able to spin. The more you spin, the more chances you take. You know, the better off chances are to, to get what you would really want. It doesn't have to be something huge like that. It doesn't have to be Hollywood. I know I know somebody who I did community theater with. I know a couple people actually, but a few people. Um, I'm in like uh, the Bay Area. We'll say that, and, and that's so. Um, we did community theater together, and he was really good actually. I really enjoyed working with him, and there were a couple other people who went on, but he went on to. Um, Oh, too. There's one other guy, too, who did movies. Who's done commercials and movies. They went to L.A. And they, they did it. 
and they are still working. I'm not saying he's been on a couple of I don't know the TV programs like like a Law and Order and things like that where he's got like a bit part. But he's but I mean he's doing it. He's living the dream, doing what he's always wanted to do. I wanted to too, and I never did. And see, I regret it. I should have done it when I was younger and got to LA and got to school. So see, don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. And even if you're older, you know, I did this. I started this later on in life. I won't say how late, but later on. And I love it. I This is what keeps me alive. You know, I could do this all day, every day. Um, but anyways, collective. If you are still here, find that passion. I don't even know how I got in that direction through these cards, but I did. Um, find that passion. And whatever it is you want for your life, take the necessary steps. Take action now to get it going. With um, Saturn in retrograde, there may be some things that come up that may be unfinished business that you need to take care of and then get rid of that so you can move a lighter load, you can move forward. And there, there's very well be, maybe something that you need to cut out. And with these cards, it says there is something and going to something that's going to, that, that you're going to be more appreciated. And so take those steps. Take those steps to move forward. Now, while you know the energy is is in your favor, because otherwise there's going to be a tower moment, and it's going to be a little, a little harder for you to get to where you want to get to. It's not saying you can't, but it's going to create a little bit of um, dissension in your life that you could avoid if you just start taking those necessary steps. So you know it doesn't have to be today. Today, you know, it's Tuesday, <clears throat> or whenever you're watching this, because again, these are uh, timeless. But, um, so even if you're watching this and it's not a first quarter moon at the time you're watching this, it doesn't matter because the message has come to you saying that whatever you need to do needs to happen now. Okay. All right. I'm going to land it there because it's already after a half an hour. And thank you so much for everyone who tuned in. And especially thank you to people who stayed to the very end or saved it and watched the end. Because you're the people that are going to make the changes, the necessary changes in your life. So kudos to you. All right, I will see you in the next one. Yes, tomorrow morning. Um, we're going to get some wisdom, Wednesday Wisdom Day. And again, it's the Daily Dish Tarot. Uh, so basically, it's food for thought to help us through our weeks and moving forward towards the new moon. And I will see you tomorrow. Peace out.